Hey, welcome to Cosmic Comics. Glad you could make it. Come on in. We've been around since 1996. Great. Up front, we got all our good stuff. We got a lot of staff picks. Uh, members of our staff like to pick some books that they particularly like. We have other things that we like to put on display. We got some, right now, we got some Booster Gold stuff regarding the recent DC announcements. Some Superman versus the Authority. Some really cool Batman pops, coloring books, masks, games, a little bit of everything up here. We got a wide array of apparel, t-shirts, primarily. You can see we got some statues on display because they look awesome and we like to show them off. And then as you come around, we actually have newer stuff that we like to show off every week. These displays change every week. All the new stuff we like to show off. The glass cases, we have some older, higher dollar back issues from before 1975 usually, but sometimes some of the newer stuff that has some value. What we in the industry like to call ratioed variants, which are right here on display the last two weeks worth. This is the stuff that's brand new this week and just behind it on the shelf. We got some rare Funko Pops and other ratioed variants. More statues up top. It's collectible lunch boxes, because who doesn't like a good lunch box? All right, continuing on, we got a nice array of buttons and other little novelties. Funko Pops. We have our really cool spinner rack with some dollar books. Uh, Marvel, DC, and Image put out various dollar books to try to get people introduced to new comics, so it's a really good way to jump right in and read some cool stories and get you hooked. Funko Pops, right? Everybody loves Funko Pops. We've got a lot of those. Um, as the industry has grown through the years, of comics are no longer written exclusively for younger people. So we also have a kids section, which is books specifically for a younger audience, both young adult and much smaller kids. All right, and recently we have been expanding our manga section. As you can see, our manga section used to be this nice little thing right here, but now it is extended over here, and we have more manga on the other side. We actually have larger manga and manga on display. So we've really taken an interest in growing our manga section. And then as we move back, check out these action figures. Collectible Marvel Selects for you. Invincible action figures from the show. The Crow, we have a DC Multiverse, Cobra Kai action figures, and you know some of the small Judge Dreads that have recently come out, and even Star Trek ships, which you saw the larger size over there. Moving on, we have our game section. Game section is relatively small, but we do try to keep fresh games all the time. Sometimes that can be a challenge, and that goes right around to Dungeons and Dragons. Collectible, the pre-painted figures, rule books for your use because what would having a D&D section be without those, right? We keep a stock of other role-playing games from both Star Wars, Monster of the Week, Scum and Villainy, Band of Blades, things like that. And now we get into more of our statue displays, what they call gallery figures, which are better price point but highly detailed figures, and the nicer high-end figures. We also stock a wide array of comic book supplies for the collector. Boxes, bags and boards, everything you could need. Moving right along, we are getting into our Marvel Comics section. All the new Marvel Comics are gonna be on this wall. And above that, we have graded books and back issues. Lots of good stuff for you to collect. The newest Marvel books we try to mark with new this week with last week's comics so that Customers know if they missed an issue and what's new this week that they might want to pick up. On the right, in our various bookshelves, we have a couple different things. We have our science fiction genre section, we have a crime genre section, fantasy genre section, and as we're moving along, we get into the Marvel graphic novels, which are right next to the Marvel comic books. So that's good stuff for you to look at, check out, and read. And then moving back past the Marvel section, and our other superhero section, we have what we like to call the scary section. It's kind of a hodgepodge of all sorts of different and special interests. Back here we have a lot of how-to comic book books, artist books, and things like Mouse, which you've probably heard was banned in some Tennessee high school or something, and other books, The Realist, Pistol Whip, 
things that wouldn't normally fit into traditional genres. Here at Cosmic Comics, we do support local artists. And this spinner rack right here, all these books were created by Las Vegas local artists. And they publish their own books and we sell them right here in the store. And as we move along, as you can see all these tables full of comic books, these are our primary back issue area. Very large, very expansive. And what's great about this is not only can you find what you're looking for and fill some holes in your collection, but all these books are only books past 1975. We have another space for books before 1975, and I'm gonna show that off in just a moment. All right, and this wall is all independent books. For the uninitiated, most people think that Marvel and DC is pretty much all there is to comics. But for comic collectors, they know that the independent market has grown immensely in the last decade or so. Really starting in the 90s is when it really blew up. And this wall is all the current, or at least within the last six months, independent comic books. Now above those is, again, like the other wall, older comic books that we're just sort of displaying and, and showcasing. And even above that, we have older back issues up on the top, which show off really classic comics for the hardcore collectors. Moving along, we have a rack of new independent books, just like the Marvel section, marked with new this week. You caught us on kind of a smaller week, and the books sold well, so we don't have too many right now, but that's okay. Of course, like the Marvel side, we also have the DC side with DC graphic novels. Plenty of graphic novels for whatever character you may want, so if you want to check out some graphic novels or even older collections, which the collections are really cool because they come in different Golden Age, Silver Age collections of different characters, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, whatever you're looking for, we probably have it. Coming around the DC side, coming around the DC side against the wall, we have the new this week DC comics. Again, just like the Marvel side, everything that's new this week is labeled. Uh, within the last several months, we have on the rack and anything just a week old, we have last week's comics as well. So when you're looking for new stuff, this is where you want to look. On this side, horror section. We talked about our graphic novels with different genres. This is the horror section. As you can see, we're really into horror here. We dig it. Heck, my shirt even shows that a little bit. So horror section. Around this side, I talked about our back issues from, 19, from after 1975. Now we're gonna talk about back issues from before 1975. These wooden cabinets are just chock full of comic books from the Silver Age and Golden Age. And there's a lot of good stuff in here. Just for instance, we have a Fantastic Four drawer full of old comics, right? Good. Now check this out. Fantastic Four number 118, a 20 cent comic book. Lockjaw right on the cover fighting Ben Grimm. Old friends right there going at it. Uh, and down here, Action Comics number 357, 12 center right on the cover. Superman against the toughest kids in the world. Kids are throwing kryptonite at him. Ah, the Silver Age, man, crazy stuff. We have posters, a lot of great posters. Venom, Lethal Protector poster, look at that, look at that stuff. You're not into Venom, not into Marvel Comics, that's okay. We have Harley Quinn. You're, you're more into movies, that's okay. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, right? You're into horror, we're into horror. The Last Supper of Horror, right there. You're into some legal stuff in Nevada? There you go, The Devil's Harvest. Classic movies, Creature from the Black Lagoon, heck. We even have some manga, Juju Kaisitsen, I think I said that right. Got Star Wars, we even have the King of Monsters himself, Godzilla. All right, where can we move to now? For the discerning collector, we have nicer high-end statues from a variety of creators and artists for a variety of characters. You want classic Black Panther? We got it. You want Iron Spider from the Avengers? We got it. You want classic Spider-Man and one of his classic foes, Hobgoblin? You got it. Classic X-Men, ready to go. We got big statues, we got small statues, we got Thor frog statues. You want a statue, we got your statue. We even have Gohan from Dragon Ball Z statue. I mean, come on, we got statues for days here. We even have gallery figure statues. Let me talk a moment about these things. Look at this, not only are they a really good price point, but they're made out of a much tougher material. And look at this, this is a Frank Miller version of the Punisher. Look at the detail on that thing, that is great. And we have other characters, I mean, so many characters. Avatar, The Last Airbender, Venom, 
Carnage, Thor. I mean, they're all here. We even have classic Cloak and Dagger. Look at those figures. Just amazing looking classic figures. Amazing detail. You're playing D&D, you need some figures, pre-painted figures, and of course, dice. A wide selection of dice for you to use for any game, really, not just D&D. And now we're at Day Day's favorite section, the Omnibuy. We have a lot of omnibus or omnibuses, I don't even know how you say it with plural, but every character you can think of from different publishers. Right now we're on the Marvel side, so you're only seeing Marvel, and these all begin at $75. $75? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> this looks delicious. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Follow around any character you can think of. The Incredible Hulk, Fantastic Four, all the big ones. Doctor Doom. You're into Luke Cage? We got Luke Cage. We have Man-Thing. Some people like to say the giant size Man-Thing because that was his first appearance. We also got Predator, Phoenix, and then a, a wide variety of Star Wars omnibus and then just coming around this little corner right here it just goes right into dc but before we get to dc we have all the what ifs you could imagine so if you're into what if we have what if 100 bullets so we have other publisher or other uh other genres as well american vampire animal man batgirl batman you name it we have it blackest night the four watchmen books of magic dark knight's metal very popular lately as is the authority you want Jack Kirby's Fourth World Omnibus? We have Jack Kirby's Fourth World Omnibus. And at the end, of, we get into even an overflow of more Omnibus, which carries into Superman, Teen Titans, the DC Comics Who's Who Omnibus, and what we call Absolutes, right? The Absolute Collection are library edition sized books, which are probably the best version you can get of any kind of story. With The Dark Knight, we have Dark Knight's Metal, Doomsday, Absolute Flashpoint, Jack Corby's Fourth World Absolute Collection. That's amazing stuff. Hellboy, Superman, Swamp Thing, New Frontier. This stuff is classic. Spawn, you want Spawn? We have Spawns. We have Something is Killing Children, Hardbounds. That's a newer comic book, by the way, and it's really good, especially if you're into horror. I don't know what to say about Omnibus. <laughs> there is so much to see and look at. I mean, this store has everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready. Oh, well, I guess Day Day is ready. So let's get these omnibuses checked out. And he is ready to go. Hey, do you want a drink? Uh, no, uh -huh. I'm Bob Goodney's boy. All right, let's get you wrung out. <laughs> Thank you, guys. This is cosmic. What? Ain't it sexy? <laughs> Thanks so much to Adam and all my guys, Tommy. Fabian, all you guys for coming in and joining me on this journey of filming my sexy LCS. Huh? <laughs> and check it out. Ain't Adam awesome? Oh! Adam, where can they find y'all on social media? We are at CosmicComicsLasVegas.com, or I should say CosmicComics.Vegas, or CosmicComicsLV.com. You can also find us on Facebook. There are different Cosmic Comics around the country, though, so make sure you check out our logo and find the right one, because there are different ones. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram again, Cosmic Comics LV, right here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And that is my LCS. And I'm about to go broke, so see y'all later. <laughs>